All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, good morning, good afternoon to everyone. Um, today, we're going to be discussing our Togo uh, image search. We recently incorporated it into Togo itself. Uh, my name is Michael Sinney. For those who do not know me, I am the customer success manager here at Togo. I partner with customers to ensure Togo is meeting your business and expectation and bringing you value. To give you a little uh, background about myself, I was an estimator for seven years in the South Florida construction market. I worked with both large and small general contractors on a variety of different types of jobs, such as multifamily, commercial, historical renovation, residential projects, et cetera. I understand the day-to-day -day challenges and tasks an estimator faces in order to get a job underway and actually get an estimate complete. So I'm here to partner with you guys and ensure um, you know, that you, you are receiving your return on investment when you're utilizing Togol and you know, to guide you in ways uh, to help save you time throughout the takeoff process, because we here at Cobalt understand there's a lot more than just doing takeoffs on a job itself. Here's the agenda for today's webinar. We're gonna discuss what is image search and talk a little bit about the technology itself. Then I'm gonna introduce you guys to the, to the Togo AI's image search. We'll discuss how our image search differs from other softwares. We'll discuss how we can access the Togo AI image search for all users and then review some case studies of how we can utilize uh, the image search. And then we have time, we'll do a bit of a demo session and it will open up the floor to a Q&A. So what is image search? Image search technology is the use of a computer vision and image recognition algorithm to analyze and extract information from construction related images on a project itself. Typically these templates are matching algor algorithms are trained to find and match pixels of an image across the whole planet itself. These systems usually become confused with any background noise and require a user to set a sensitivity filter, um, but in, in, uh, to try to, I guess, set up a guideline for what it's gonna filter for you and find as an object, but still requires you, the user, to review and confirm if this algorithm has selected the correct image and object. Knowing these pains and struggles estimators are facing with current software, we decided to take a deeper dive in the technology and find ways how we can improve the overall functionality for our users and provide a quicker and accurate count. So today we would like to introduce you our AI power driven image search. As you see here in this quick little demo, I'm gonna go ahead and have the AI search for these fire sprinkler heads for us. All I need to do is draw a bounding box of the initial image I would like the AI to locate. I click search, and you see the AI is going to go ahead and scan the drawing, ignoring any background noise it sees, and also filter out the different type of sprinkler heads that are shown on the drawing. This is just one example that we can utilize the AI image search. And as you see, it's not getting confused with any text that's overlaying it, any lines that cross over that symbol. It knows to identify that initial symbol and ignore any background information. And then from there, we can choose to create a new classification, or in addition, we allow our users to utilize an existing count classification to um, you know, reclassify or convert these, this AI-driven count for you to the specified classification you're looking for. So how is our AI image search different from other softwares? We are utilizing our AI technology to allow our users to search your plan for any custom image you would like um, and then utilizing the AI technology, we no longer need a template matching algorithm, need to set a sensitivity bar to control the filtering of our results, nor does, our, the, nor does the AI get confused by the background as itself. As you see in this example over here on the right of the screen, uh, we see that I was able to distinguish and find those uh, kitchen fire sprinkler heads that we see there in the kitchen and bathrooms with the acoustical ceiling tile. And even though the symbol is the same exact circle, there is a black dot difference between the recess and the non-recess, but the AI is able to clearly and easily distinguish those two for you. It's a true unsupervised image search system, not restricted by a finite set of object classes or you know, training it to pick up on objects that we think will be typically picked up on a drawing. Bring over how we can access the Togo AI image search in Togo. So at first, when you're on your plan, you'll notice that you have your left-hand um, menu on, on the, on the Togo system itself. If you go down to that magnifying symbol on the bottom um, of this left-hand menu, you'll see it's search. When you click on search, it'll initially be in text mode, but you can click there and change over to image. 
From there, you will go ahead and start drawing your bounding box and selecting the object you would like to have the AI count for you. A tip is to make sure that you are A, using a clear symbol initially when drawing this, this bounding box. As you see, I picked a fire sprinkler that was clear, that didn't have any background noise over, um, you know, coming over it. Because this initial bounding box is what the AI uses to search the plan. So if you happen to pick up any background noise in it, let's say if I picked up any text symbols that were there, it would be utilizing that text as part of the initial image. And it's gonna give you um, an, a non-ideal search result the first time. Also, as you notice, when I'm drawing the selection box, you wanna to try to go for that perfect size for the image. Not too big, but not too small. You don't wanna draw a big excess box, again, picking up too much background noise. It's gonna go ahead and interrupt the, you know, a perfect result for you. And instead, I drew a perfect box trying to capture that actual um, fire sprinkler head itself. And then another quick tip, if you don't get a positive result the first time, just try another similar image. You'll notice that the AI will do better sometimes on a second image than it did in the initial. So after you went ahead and clicked the search, uh, you'll see the AI will go ahead and um, you know locate and tell you where your results are. And from there, we can choose to create a new classification or we can go down and select an existing count classification we created and convert all those counts into um, the uh, into that count classification itself. So we're going over some different case studies and ways we can help utilize this total image search throughout construction plans. First is for foundation and pilings. As you see, I went ahead and asked the AI to count all the pilings for me on this plan. And you can see the AI was able to locate 195 of these with just one Click. We can utilize it for landscape and irrigation. So there's two ways I could have used it here on landscaping. I chose to pick out the square symbol that was shown inside the actual planter. But if we wanted to, too, we could have gotten a symbol of the whole um, landscaping plan itself. I went for that square symbol again with that note, trying to get that clear image. I see that everything was overlaid for each other, and I wasn't able to get a clear you know, planting symbol itself. So I was like, let me go for the square itself to get you know, better results. We can also utilize this for air irrigation, you know, to count the different type of sprinkler heads we have on our plan too. We can also utilize it to count window tags for us and also text in particular. So as you see for this window tag, I went ahead and selected W6 as my initial image and it was able to distinguish and search for, you know, my W6 in particular. It didn't get caught up on the actual octagon symbol itself and was able to filter out the W5s, the T7s, the T8s, the T2s, and et cetera. Lighting fixtures works incredible using our image search. The AI is able to go through and again, ignore that background noise, the different stripes you have and different patterns that may be called out for acoustical ceiling tile versus gypsum board. We can utilize it to count lighting fixtures for us. Electrical outlets is another way we can also utilize it. You know, counting our MEP uh, switches and outlets and things of those nature. I was able to have the AI go ahead and search, uh, you know, my outlet symbols here. And again, it's ignoring all the text excess information or lines that cross over it, just looking strictly for that electrical outlet. And here are some additional ways we could also utilize the image search. We can use it for life safety equipment, um, you know, structural steel columns, low voltage devices, civil structures, fire sprinklers, bathroom accessories, fire extinguisher and cabinets, a lot of division 10 items, uh, plumbing fixtures, and much more. So, you know, you can utilize on any symbol you would like on a plan. You just click and drive and draw that bounding box. And then from there, you know, you let the AI do the count for you. I'm going to open the floor, open up the floor to Q and A's. So if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask us questions in the chat. And I'll begin to respond, um, you know, verbally here and answer any questions you guys may have on our system. Or if you guys would like to ask a question too. So Patty, our um, Togo itself, you can upload, um, primarily works best with PDF plans. I mean, you can also go ahead, we do allow image uh, and JPEGs and PNG plans to be uploaded, but um, most of our plans are PDF and that's what we utilize it on. We are able to upload PDF and um, image files into Togo.
If you guys want to ask a verbal question too, um, I think there's a way if you raise your hand in Zoom, you can let Carly and I know that you're trying to speak and we can allow you to speak too if you want to ask a question. So at the moment, uh, Fernando, we only support PDF plans. Um, we don't support like BIM or CAD files. Uh, this is something that we um, have discussed and um, you know we're potentially gonna explore down a little bit later, but right now we're strictly PDF plans at the moment. Patty, I see you raised your hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and unmute you. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, uh, see you, you've just answered a question there from Fernando. That was exactly what I was going to say there. I apologize. Give me one second. It sounds like my headphone died. Go ahead. Sorry, I was going to ask the same question as Fernando. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, just, uh, I presume this is more uh, count and number, not M squared or anything like that? No, right now it's strictly count objects. Yeah, count objects. Okay, well, that's fine. Happy days. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. All right, guys. I mean, it's been a pleasure. Um, again, we're here to uh, help you. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to go to the website. You can sign up for a trial at togo.ai and check out the software and try it out yourself. Uh, in addition, feel free to email us at support at togo.ai. We can answer any questions you guys have there or sales at togo.ai. I always like to leave off our customers on this quote. Um, you know, AI is a growing market and it's not meant to replace anyone. I don't want anyone to think that AI is ever meant to take over someone's job and do their day-to-day -day task. But what AI does, it acts as an assistant for you in every job and every project. And AI will not replace you, but the person who is using AI and knows how to utilize it will. So there's something to keep in mind as you guys continue to explore, you know, the advancing of our pre-construction industry. And, you know, it's exciting times throughout the world in general. We thank you for everyone coming to join us and, you know, learn to listen about the, our image search. Again, feel free to go to our website, togo.ai. You can go there and check it out. Uh, we have some other YouTube videos on image search up available too. It's been a pleasure. Thank you all.